All right, today we're gonna do a setup for a deuce on lathe. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit my power on. And while this is powering on, I will release my emergency stop so I don't get any alarms when it comes on. On this controller, I actually have two machine ready buttons. I have an NC on that powers up the machine. My machine ready button, when it comes up, it gives me my message or my prompt to turn it on, will give me access to the whole controller. So while this powers up, that's what we're waiting on. It'll look, it'll come on and it'll look like an alarm, but it's actually just wanting us to tell us to turn that on. Okay. So we have our alarm come on. So if you wanted to, we can go to our messages. Okay, splash guard, our door's open, but the first thing we want to do is we want to power up our machine. We'll close our door. Make sure there's no other alarms. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to load our program onto the machine. So we'll take our USB, we'll go into our edit mode. So when I push my edit mode, I'll go to program, and we'll see up here that we are in edit mode. So I will come to my directory. These are my soft keys. I'll come to my soft key directory, and then I will go operation, and I'm gonna arrow over until I hit device. Once I hit device, I will select device with my soft key, and then I will select USB memory. So before I select that, I'm going to mount my USB into the controller. Now that that's loaded, I will select USB memory. The program I will be using will be the top program. To do this, I will do an F input because I'm going to be inputting from the USB into the directory. So I'll be doing F input. On here, it wants me to set for my program. So I will do 11110 set. If you look down here, you can see that my program is ready to be read. And then I will just put my soft key, execute. So while that it said input, and while it was doing that, if I hit my program button up here, you can see that that program is now loaded. Okay, so to do my setup on this one, I'm gonna set my tools off what we call a tool I. So I'm gonna set my first tool, which is tool 101, on my tool I. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my door, and I'm going to lower my tool I. Okay, so let's make sure, we'll send the machine home real quick. Reference, make sure everything's good. Okay, so now we'll open up our door. We will go into handle mode. And if you notice, whenever I push the handle to go in from X or Z, I will push the handle again, okay? So I will go into Z mode first, and I will handle towards my tool. As I get closer to my tool eye, I will reduce the, my increments to a lower feed. Once I am within a hundred thousandths of my tool eye, I will hold the X negative jog as it's moving towards it. You'll see my numbers change. Oh, I have to be in jog mode. I'm going to go to jog and then start moving down. Now that I'm jogging towards it, we will see our numbers change. There it is. So if we look up here, we'll see that we have a negative 10 inches, 387 thousandths and seven tenths. So what we'll do is we'll go back into our handle. We're gonna move up off of the eye. It's very important that you know what direction is what. On this machine, X plus is going away from the spindle Z plus is also going away from the spindle. So I want to go in the X plus direction, which is clockwise, to move away from my tool eye. I have to set my Z now. I've set my X, now I have to set my Z. So I'm gonna move over 
into my location. I will move within a hundred thousandths of my tool eye. Then I will go into jog mode and I will hit Z negative. I will push and hold. As you can see, my numbers are moving towards my tool eye. And then once it has decompressed the tool eye, my numbers will pop up. I can keep pushing Z negative all day long. It will not go any further because the tool eye has sensed that it has met its, its portion. It knows where it's at. So now I'm gonna go back to my handle. I am in Z. I'm going to go Z positive to move away from my tool eye. Now that my tool eye is done, I will lift it up and put it up. We do not slam it, we just pick it up and we put it right into its housing. So I am using a CNMG 432. Okay, all this means is that I'm using a roughing style insert and we can look up these later. A 432, now the two is what's important to me right now. The two is for a 31 thousandths radius. So when I go into my tool, you'll notice that I have my X and my Z locations. Well, I have my radius right here. This is where I'm gonna put my 32 thousandths radius at. My T is my tool tip radius. This tells me what coordinates I need to be in or what um, what vector, what vector I have to be in. I'm gonna, or quadrant, what quadrant I have to be in. So being in the third quadrant, I know I'm to the right and to the top of the piece I am machining. So that being a three is very important. The majority of the time you will be using a three. So now that I have this set, I need to send my machine home so that I can set my work offset. So in order to properly set my work offsets on this machine, I have to be in MDI and I have to call up the tool that I just set. So to do that, I will call up T101 in the block insert. By doing that, this machine calls up tool one and then the second two letter numbers, the zero and the one, will call up the tool geometry that I just set by touching my tool off the tool eye. So I'll hit cycle start. So now, if you look on your screen, you will see that tool 010 is now active. You do not want to hit reset any point in time when we're doing this setup because if you do, we'll have to send it back home and reactivate this tool. So from here, I want to come and I want to touch the face of my material. So I will go into my handle mode. And for this demonstration, I'm going to get close to the part. And I'm gonna say that that's the face of my part. You can also turn your spindle on and make a small facing pass on the face of your spindle or on, on the face of your part. Once you do that, I will come to set my work offsets. To set my work offsets, I will go to my offsets soft key. And then I have down here my work offsets soft key. I am using G54 in my program so what I will do, X will always be zero on your lathes because zero is a center of rotation. So what I'll be doing is I'll be setting our Z coordinates, okay, our work coordinates. So to do this, everything's still active. I haven't hit reset. I will hit Z, zero, measure. So you wanna pay close attention because this number right here, negative three inches, 800, and two thousandths. If you take this number and you add it to that number right there, that should be the total distance from home. So if I took the four inches go back to my work offsets 
in the three inches and I go to my machine position, you'll see that I got eight inches right there. So if I add my work offset and my tool geometry offset, both of those will add up to eight inches, 81 thousandths from when my tool is at the face of my workpiece. So now I'm gonna send this home, go to my reference return. So now I am ready to run my program. So once I ran my program and I've made my parts and I know that this program is a good program, then I will come in here and I will put my program back onto my USB. To do that, I will need to be in edit mode. You see that I am in edit mode. And this one, I will not go into directory. I will stay in the program side, but I will still hit soft key operation. I will arrow over to input output input output and I want to output so I want to take it from my directory out to my USB so if I do output it's gonna be program 1111 I have to OSET it because it wants to know what program and then I will hit execute and it says do I want to overwrite and I do I want to overwrite the program because I know that's good now you have learned how to do a setup on a Dusan lathe.